Welcome to our channel Maths College. Hello my dear students. Today also I am ready to discuss the lessons of decimals. The second part of the decimal lesson, what is it? It's the multiplication of decimal numbers by the whole numbers. Yes, look at it. What are the whole numbers? This in the mathematics we have to learn there are a lot of types of numbers one of fractions decimals whole numbers whole numbers mean one two three four like that the numbers greater than to zero are the whole numbers okay whole numbers one two three four five six seven eight like that okay now look at it how to multiply the decimal numbers by the whole numbers? The four sections in here. First, look at the first example. It's a 0 0.5 multiplied by the 3. Yes, considering the number, not the decimal number. Think about it. This is the 5. This is the 5, not 0 0.5. Yes, now we know that 5 multiplied by the 3. What is the value? It is a 50. Yes. Finally, put the decimal point in here. How to put it? Considering the given questions, how many decimal places in here? 0 0.5 in here. One decimal place. One decimal place. The answer also having one decimal place. Therefore, considering right hand side, 1 in God put into here. The answer is 1.5. Go through the second examples. Is given 0 0.35 multiplied by the 11. Considering it's not the 0 0.35, 35. Get the 35 in here and multiplied by the 11. 1 multiplied by 5, 1. 1 multiplied by 3, 1 multiplied 5 and the 3. Yes, multiply it. Addition, 8, 3. 385. Yes, how to put the decimal point in here? Consider the given question having how many decimal places? How many? Yes, 1, 2. 2 decimal places questions having Therefore, answer also having only two decimal places. How can we count it? It's counted from the right hand side. Here, this is the right hand side. One, two, put the decimal point in here. Answer is 3.85. Go to the next, third example. Given 7.12 multiplied by the 5. Considering in 712. 712 multiplied by the 5. Multiply it. 5 multiplied by the 2. 10. 1 is remaining. 5 multiplied by 5. 5 multiplied by 1. 5. And the remaining one. 6. 5 multiplied by 7. 35. 3560 answers is coming. Yes. Put the decimal point. How can we put it? Here, considering the question. The question having how many decimal places? Is the one, another one, two decimal places. Therefore, the answer also having two decimal places. It's counted from the right hand side. Here's one, two. Put the decimal point in here. Answer is... 35.63 The last example 4.173 multiplied by the 40 Considering 4173 multiplied by the 40 multiplied it First multiplied by the 4 4 multiplied by 3 12 1 is remaining 4 multiplied by 7 28 and the remaining one 29 again 2 is remaining 7 4 multiplied by 1 4 and the remaining 2 6 4 multiplied by 4 16 again multiplied by the 1 
थ्री सेवन वन फोर एडिशन एट टू ट्वेल्व एंड सिक्स एडिशन सेवन थर्टीन एंड रिमेनिंग वन फोर्टीन वन इज रिमेनिंग सिक्स एडिशन वन सेवन एंड रिमेनिंग वन एट फोर एडिशन वन फाइव फिफ्टी एट थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी टू यस फाइनली फुट द डेसिमल पॉइंट इन हियर हाउ मेनी डेसिमल पॉइंट इन द गिवन सेक्शन वन टू थ्री थ्री डेसिमल पॉइंट दे आर फोर आंसर ऑल्सो हैविंग थ्री डेसिमल प्लेस हाउ कैन बी फुट इट इट्स काउंटेड फ्रॉम द राइट हैंड साइड डीन यू यस दिस द राइट हैंड साइड वन Two, three. Put the point in here. Answer is fifty-eight point four two two. Let's go. How to multiply the decimal number by the power of ten? Ten hundred thousand. Okay. Now look at the second step. Our lesson. What is it? Multiply the decimal number by ten hundred thousand. It's the special rule. For you, it is easy one. Considering, considering the zero in the given three numbers, respectively, ten having one zero, hundred having two zero, thousand having three zero. When we multiply the decimal number by the ten hundred thousand, we considering these zero given number. First, two point one multiplied by the ten. What is it? The ten having one zero, therefore the decimal point jump to the right hand side one number. One number jump to one number. Why is jump to one? The decimal ten having one zero. Therefore, like that, two point one multiplied by the zero decimal point goes to in here. Therefore, it's write it as. Decimal point coming here twenty one point zero. Therefore, no decimal numbers. It can be written as twenty one. Go through the second example. It's also multiplied by the ten. The ten having the one zero. Therefore, the decimal point three thirty five point six multiplied by the ten decimal point pass one number. Yes. It goes to in here thirty years three hundred fifty six point zero. Therefore, no decimal numbers in the decimal places. It can be written as thirty five point three hundred fifty six. Third example one point seven two multiplied by the ten years. The decimal point the ten have a one zero decimal point jump to one number. To the right hand side, it's come to here between the seven and two. Yes, the answer is coming seventeen point two. Seventeen point two. Yes, this is the final answer. Fourth example, fifty three point seven hundred two three multiplied by the ten. Fifty three point seven two three multiplied by the ten. Yes, the ten having one zero. Therefore, the decimal point jump only one number. What is the answer? Five hundred thirty-seven point two three is the answer. Yes. Observe it very carefully. You can identify what is the rule in here. Go through how to multiply it by the hundred. The hundred having two zeros. Yes. Four point one two multiplied by the hundred. Two zeros in here. Therefore, the decimal point jump two numbers. One two. It's counting here. What is the answer? Four hundred twelve point zero. No numbers in the decimal place. Therefore, it can be four hundred twelve. Is the final answer. Last example, one point five multiplied by the hundred. One point five multiplied by the hundred. What is it? Hundred having two zeros. 
5 jump to decimal place two numbers in here what is the number see no number here put the zero in here then count to in here decimal point what is the answer 150.6 no decimal place numbers in here it can be written as 150 this is the sum of examples related to decimal numbers multiplied by the 10 hundred thousand let's go to another example now discuss another for example what is it it's the multiplied by the thousand 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 having how many zeros three zeros therefore the decimal point goes to three numbers jump to three numbers in the right hand side look at the first example yes in here zero thousand having three zeros the decimal point jump to three numbers from the right hand side yes one two three come into here what is the answer answer is seven thousand one hundred twenty three point zero there is no decimal numbers in the no numbers in the decimal places 7123 is the final answer second example also multiplied by the thousand multiplied it the decimal place goes to in here what is the answer 562.0 no decimal numbers decimal place numbers Therefore, it can be written as 562. Next, 2.3 multiplied by the 1000. 1000 having 3 zeros. Therefore, decimal point jump to 3 numbers in the right hand side. No numbers in here. Put the 0 in like this. 1, 2, 3 decimal point come in here. Yes, the answer is 2, 3, 0, 0, point 0. 2300.0. Point zero. No numbers in the decimal places. Yes, it can be written as 2300 only. The last example multiplied by the 1000. Yes. The point goes to the jump to the three numbers. Yes, point come in here. What is the answer? 4123. One is remaining point four. Yes. Okay, now observe the examples in very carefully. You can find the answers of multiply the decimal number by the whole number. And the special rule related to the multiplication of decimal number by ten hundred thousands. Now I am ready to go. Say goodbye all of you. Have a good future. And also give the special message. Please subscribe our YouTube channel. What is it? It's the Maths College.